Paulo Gunner here to talk nerdy to you about Ahsoka Part 8. I feel sick to my stomach. This is this is going to be bad. It is is just it was that overwhelming of a feeling that I literally felt sick to my stomach. You have Ahsoka, Ezra, and Sabine, and they're just chilling with these turtle creatures just slowly crawling along what is going on how come how come there's no urgency here thrawn they send people to attack them and that it goes from bad to worse it was so so great to see ezra make a lightsaber that was so awesome a new lightsaber in a similar fashion to his master kanan jarrus which of course hu yang had some little input on and i just continue to love everything that comes out of Hu Yang's mouth. It's just wonderful, perfect, I love it. What's so great in this is the persistence. Like they will not give up. Ahsoka is unfazed by anything. Like it is literally, it just goes from bad to worse to worse to worse. And she's like, yeah, it's fine. Uh, it's okay. We'll just do this. We'll just do that. We're just going to continue doing this. What is up with you being so chill? How are you being so nonchalant about this? But I loved it. That's how a Jedi should be. That's the right way to be. Thrawn just keeps on laying on the attacks. This guy is also relentless, like a genius, brilliant. He will not give an inch and I love it. It is phenomenal. It's superb. Sabine, she gets her moments. She finally gets her moments. She has her redemptive arc, and, and it's not just once, it's multiple times. She uses the force this one time to help them with to open this gate, this giant massive doors, you know, and just other things. And I love how she just switches between, between blasters and, and saber, and it is so good. And just how they're just good, this great triumvirate of awesome. They even do like a little zombie stuff, which was so cool because it's October, it's Halloween time, throw in some zombies. Love it. Yes. Put us in the mood. Get us in the zone. Oh, that was so good. Even Morgan Elsbeth gets an upgrade in this sick, awesome sword. And that fight was awesome. Yes. Perfect. Awesome. I thought there was going to be something else. I thought there was going to be more. I thought maybe Ezra was going to mess up Thrawn's ship so that they couldn't travel. Them, but no, it, it was it was death and despair to the end. My prediction was wrong that Hu Yang was going to die, but I, I feel like it's going to come eventually. I also thought Balin was going to die. I'm wondering how that's going to play in the second season, considering the actual actor's dead. But... We'll see when it comes. As Slay J posted on our TikTok, it was perfect down to every minute detail. All the way to the very end. Oh, it was beautiful. There was even a moment where they have these giant statues and I was like, this reminds me of Lord of the Rings. Like now you're bringing some Lord of the Rings tone to it. You're just making this more complete to me more. Oh my God. Uh, you have no idea like I there's so many times in the show where I literally almost cried Maybe it's just because I'm just going through a lot of stuff right now And I need a good cry, but regardless like this was bringing me to tears multiple times. It was so so good it, It's oh my god. I love it. May the force be with you talk near to me and Don't forget to get some of this talk nerdy to me Star Wars merch it is our most popular stuff on the site, easily. 